Hello, grade five learners. My name is Ms. Tudazan, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about our third week for our unit of inquiry. We're going to start off the week by tuning into the components of the earth. Now, this is going to be covering the earth structure, and we're going to see the different parts that come together for us to see the form of the earth structure. We will be able to identify them, and we're going to see their importance. We're also going to be breaking down each component and seeing the form and function of them to see how important and how we see them every day connected to the earth structure. The geosphere. This is going to be our first component that we're going to be tuning into. This component covers basically the land on the earth, uh, surrounding the earth, and it covers the different layers that go underneath. The different layers were discussed previously in the previous week, so we're going to be reflecting on them and connecting them to this component of the Earth structure. Our second component of the Earth structure is going to be the biosphere. This structure, this uh, part of this component, is going to be covering all living things that are found within ecosystems on the land. So here this can be broken down into different uh, substructures where we can discuss the organisms, the community, living things, um, the cycle within living things. So this is a very general and very broad uh, component. We're going to be tuning into how it's connected to the earth structure and the importance of it. The atmosphere. We're going to be able to identify the different layers of the atmosphere, and we're going to see exactly why each layer is important uh, and how it's connected to the earth structure. A lot of you might not think that the atmosphere is part of the earth structure, but it's a very important part, and we're going to see the importance of the atmosphere during this week. Our final component for this week is going to be the hydrosphere. By looking at the word hydrosphere, hydro represents water. So here we're going to see the different types of water forms that are found on the earth structure and how they're connected to living things, to maybe they're also connected to the different components. So here we're going to end the week with the hydrosphere component, and then we're going to be able to connect all of these components together and see how all four of them give us the earth structure. So this week is going to be filled with new concepts that you're going to be learning about. And also all of these concept, concepts are going to be connected to the structure of the earth. And we're also going to see how they're connected to each other. So our key focus is going to be a uh, connection for this week and seeing how the components are important and see how they're connected to each other. Thank you for watching this video.